Hey, welcome to a wonderful afternoon in Lambeth Valley. As you can tell, I went from my work clothes to my other work clothes, sitting on my baby John Deere. And I thought I would share the word with you in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, starting in verse 9. But just as is it written, things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. For to us, God has revealed them through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, even the depths of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the Spirit of the man, which is in him? Even so, the thoughts of God no one knows except for the Spirit of God. And one more verse. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we may know, that we may know the things freely given to us. What things? The things which eye has not seen, the ear has not heard. And that which has not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. For to us, God revealed them through the Spirit. Last time we were talking about what do you have. Before that was what have you seen. Now we're throwing in what have you seen, <laughs> what have you heard. What do you have. Now this is how God brings the have to what is seen and what is heard. He is revealing it. Remember, Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. God wants to reveal through his Spirit. Why? So that we may know the things freely given to us. Those callings, those purpose, that destiny. Like we said before, there's a harvest coming. There are souls, there are people who are crying out, and we are the answer. We need to come into that place where we're saying, Holy Spirit, please reveal to me what you have. Because for me, I do not want to die and leave this earth not fulfilling what God has placed in me. I want to know the things freely given to us by God. Those things that are revealed by his spirit. We need to open the book. We need to say, Lord, teach me. Holy Spirit, be my counselor. Be my anointing that teaches me all things. Because people are depending on us. People are depending. They're crying out to God. And you are the answer. So, Father, we just thank you that you open our eyes of our understanding to know the hope of your calling. Lord, all of our excuses, all of the things that in the past that may have held us back, I speak a loosening and a freedom over your people today to serve God in a mighty way. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. You all have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Get a good picture, Marcella. <laughs> Take a moment. All right.